So a couple of weeks ago, uh, Tech Power Up came out with a review of the 9000 series uh, AMD chips that rolled out and did some uh, benchmarks. So uh, it's going to be interesting because uh, it's not going to be what you think it's going to be as far as the results go. All right, so uh, let's get into it. All right, so uh, here's the, so let's start off by talking about uh, prices versus CPUs. So uh, right now uh, I'm starting off the list of CPUs ranked by the 1080p results, the most frames per second at the top and going all the way down in descending order and what the prices are or were of the CPUs as of the 24th of August, which was shortly after the Tech Power Up review of the 9950X, right? And so one of the things that you wanna pay attention to is 3900X, for some reason came in at $375. Don't know uh, if it's still like that, but that's a ridiculous price for that CPU. So th there's that. Uh, oh, also, by the way, uh, I, uh, I'm, I'll take that tech power up link and put it in the description below so that you can have a look for yourself. And thank you, tech power up, for giving us this, these results so I could put this chart together. Anyways, so here you got the, the 7800X3D at the top across the board, right? And as you probably already know, the uh, 7800X3D is around 400 to 420, I think, uh, maybe 430 right now by the time this video comes out. But as of the 24th, it was 396 on Amazon. Uh, and then you get the 14900K and 7950X3D, 13900K, and 13900 on down the line. And what you'll notice is the 9000 series is right here. Uh, uh, and so although they're, they're scoring decently in 1080p, they're not the uplift that uh, people had hoped for. So for instance, the 9950X versus the 7950X, you got 180 frames versus 177 frames, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So, so that's, that was the problem that a lot of third party reviewers were taking a look at, right? And so, and by the way, the gray right here, right, the gray stuff right here, that is just to delineate between uh, each type of result. So 1080p to 1440p to 4K. Uh, so that's the only reason why those gray boxes exist is to help separate the numbers. Anyways, uh, so yeah, uh, the the 1080p results are, there's no real big surprises there other than the, the 9000 series results. Uh, similarly with 1440p and 4K right there. Uh, even the 1% lows, uh, not a lot of surprises there either. Uh, but if you take the, the results, right, and you look at the current uh, the prices as of 824 and then you look at the cost per frame so this is what i meant when i said it's it's not what it's not going to be what you think Right, and so what I did for cost per frame at 1080p, uh, one dollar range for for green, meaning a uh, dollar per frame, uh, will will be green indicators. Three dollars or less uh, per frame, uh, but more than one dollar a frame is going to be in yellow, and anything that's uh, above the three uh, three dollar per frame is going to be in red. And so for 1440p, I did $2 for green, $4 for yellow, and greater than $4 for red for 
4K, I did $3 uh, per frame for green, $5 per frame for yellow, and greater than $5 per frame for red, all right? And so what you're seeing here is that, believe it or not, the 12100F has the best cost per frame across the board. Now, to be fair, the 12100F is $85 right now, uh, or as of August 24th, right? And the AMD 3600 is $88, right? And so that's a, a major driving reason why those, those two are at the top, pretty much dominating the top right there uh, for 12100F. So you got 67 versus 78, you got 71 cents versus 79 cents, you got 96 cents versus a buck o two. And then it just goes up from there, right? As you go down the list. And here's the 7800X3D at uh, 1080p at current pricing or as of August, uh, as of August 24th, uh, 7800X3D is a little over $2 a frame for 1080p. And then down here, you've got it at 1440p, a uh, little over $2.50 per frame. And then 7800X3D on 4K is almost $4 per frame, right? So yellow across the board for a 7800X3D. And if you look here at the bottom, the 9950X is just way, way out of range. So this is not a good gaming CPU for, for anybody. Uh, with, with current pricing, it's just not worth it. $640, by the way, is what that CPU was going for as of uh, August 24th. Now, from a productivity standpoint, uh, the 9950X is actually pretty pretty decent. It's, it's kind of impressive. Uh, but right now, we're just uh, talking about gaming. If you guys want me to do uh, this kind of thing, not for gaming, but for productivity, I can certainly take a look at that. But for, for now, we're going to just talk uh, gaming results. All right. So when you look at... Uh, all these numbers and then you figure out okay what's the average across the board between 1080p 1440p and 4k what that average is uh, cost per frame then you're gonna get this far right column right here which is uh, ranked by average cost per frame and what that average cost per frame is, right? And so 12100F, uh, just pretty much dominating uh, the top uh, 3600. It's almost 10 cents difference between the 12100F and the 3600. By the way, the 3600 uh, is a pretty decent CPU, even right now. Uh, then you get the 12400F, which is coming in at 95 cents, which isn't a bad value. The 12400F is at $112 as of August 24th. And it was doing uh, 142.7 frames a second at 1080p. It was doing 131.4 frames a second at 1440p. And these are all ultra settings, by the way. And then it was doing 92.6 frames a second at 4K Ultra. So that 12400F is, is pretty decent. Now keep in mind that, to be clear, these results are based off of, uh, I believe, using the 4090, uh, which gives it all the headroom that it needs in order to do full performance for that CPU. Now, if you get uh, lower-end GPUs, you're certainly not going to get these results. If you put in, uh, let's say, like a 3070 Ti in, in your rig and then you use these, you are not going to get the same results. These are maxed out results, meaning that uh, the GPU is not going to hold it back. It's going to uh, go as hard as it can, right? Going back to all this stuff, you, you get the 12400F. Uh, and then you've got uh, the 11400F uh, isn't very far behind at a buck, a little over a buck. Then you get the 5600X, 14100, 
and all the stuff in blue is stuff that's that's pretty decent it's less than two dollars a frame on average across 1080p 1440p and 4k and so those are these are these are decent cpus uh 13600k by the way was a was the cpu that i utilized for a subscriber's build uh he had asked me to build a, a pc for him and we went with the 13600k on that one so that's good to see that it's still up in the blue and everything. Now, to be clear, you got results of the 13th gen and 14th gen Intel CPUs, and there's still problems going on with that. So although some of these uh, results are decent for the 13th and 14th gen CPUs, uh, and some of them are concerning, like the 14900K, obviously, but uh, overall, kind of if if you're planning on uh, on doing a build i'd stay with the the 12600 or below for intel cpus uh, those uh, seem to be uh, performing decently at the average cost per frame as well as not having the stability issues that the 13th and 14th gen cpus are, are uh, experiencing although to be fair uh, like the 13600k uh, the i5s and the i3s uh, are not having even close to the same, uh, same problems as the 14900k and the 13900k so uh, if you've already got those CPUs I wouldn't worry too much about that but you might want to update the microcode uh, through the BIOS Although uh, the jury is still out on how that's going to positively or negatively impact future performance for those CPUs. So just be careful. All right. So uh, and we, once we get into the yellows, we've got uh, the first indicator of the 9000 series AMD shows up right there at the 9600X at almost $2.10 average uh, cost per frame, which isn't a bad thing. It's not it, it's not overly bad. So if you look at, if you're looking at the 9600X uh, for 4K gaming, that's in the green at 283 a frame. Uh, at 1440p, that's in the green at a buck 88 a frame. And it's at 1080p that it's it's a little bit concerning at a buck 57 a frame, and uh, the 9600X is currently uh, well as of August 24th at 279 dollars, right? Anyways, uh, so yeah, the the 9600X is uh, at the top of the yellow section, so there's that. Uh, and then you've got uh, the 11900K, which kind of stands out to me. Uh, it's tied with the 7700. Uh, and then you got the 7700X. There's the 5800X 3D at, uh, or around the middle of the pack at 235 a frame. Then you got the 14600K and the 13700K, which is what I've got in my main rig. Uh, but I don't really do a lot of gaming with it. So, you know it's that's not why i got that I, I got it for making videos like this and so uh you know i'm okay with that right but you might not be and that's what this is for it's to help you determine whether or not the cost per frame uh is going to make sense to you on the cpu that you get uh and as well you can match this uh, this cost per frame along with the other chart that I did for the GPUs uh, which is uh, the price to performance on the GPUs at least the current gen GPUs and so if you're looking at current gen GPUs and you're looking at CPUs for for your builds hopefully these charts will help you out anyways oh uh, by the way these dotted lines right here that's where they change positions so you know 7600 was right there but uh over here 7600 is down here and so positions got swapped right and so i wanted to identify how those rankings changed and so uh, and i also highlighted uh 
the 9700X, the 9900X, and the 9950X uh, because those are the most recent CPUs that came out for uh, AMD and their their cost per frame is not good, right? Uh, 7800X 3D I highlighted because uh, I thought it was interesting where it ended up ranking. It seems to be the best performing CPU, but at the current price or as of August 24th price, it's uh, it's it's near it's near the danger zone, right? Uh, and then the 13900 and 14900K I highlighted uh, as identifiers to uh, remind you guys that there's problems with those CPUs right now. So you might not want to be looking at those CPUs. Even the 14700K maybe uh, just you know just step carefully if if you're gonna if you're gonna get one of these CPUs just step carefully. All right, and so uh, anything in the danger zone, which is uh, the average cost of $3 a frame or more, or greater than $3 a frame, uh, that starts with the 14700K, right? And 14700K, the 3900X, but that uh, is, is there, and it's, it's low across the board as far as cost per, cost per frame goes. Uh, but that's because of that price that I found at 375. It's just a weird price. I'm not sure why that price is the way it is. So at the time of filming, it still, I mean, this is this this was a price I looked at on the 24th, and uh, I'm filming this on the 2nd of September right now, and that price is still the same. It's 375 on Amazon. I don't know why. It's just weird. It, uh, maybe there's low inventory and a high demand somehow. I don't know, but $375. Stay the hell away from the 3900X if you're looking at that right now. Uh, it it makes zero sense. From a performance standpoint, it's it, it does okay. It's nothing impressive. So I, I don't understand why it's at $375. Anyway, stay away from that CPU. It's, it, it's not going to... It's not going to... You're not going to be happy. You're going to pay way too much. I mean, 375 you might as well get the 7800X3D. All right, so yeah, that's the that's pretty much pretty much everything I wanted to talk about as far as uh, CPUs go and their cost per frame. So, yeah, hopefully you find this kind of thing interesting. And if, and if you do find it interesting, then uh, please let me know. I, uh, I can certainly keep track of this stuff and update these charts as we go, if necessary. Uh, as prices change and the market changes, you know, I can certainly update those rankings and things like that. But this should get you started if you're looking to buy a CPU. Uh, to upgrade with or to uh, build a new PC with. Uh, you you got to pay attention to this stuff because you don't want to make assumptions uh, as far as uh, how much you're paying versus the performance you want versus what your budget is, right? And hopefully this and uh, the previous videos that I did for the GPUs can help you to figure out what's right for you. So yeah, uh, hopefully this will help you guys out and let me know in the comments if you like this uh, video and you want me to continue doing updates. Uh, also let me know what CPU you have or what CPU you're thinking about getting and why you want to get that CPU. All right, come down in the comments and, and talk to me. I want to hear from you and I'll do my best to respond in a timely fashion for you if you've got questions or you want some opinions or some advice, more than happy to do so. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's your money. You have to decide what's going to be best for you. Okay. All right. Anyways, until next time, thanks for watching.